Chrome is not expensive. You can literally have such a cheap stay there. If you find yourself paying more than like six euro for an apple spritz, then you're getting scammed. Hey guys, good morning. It's Miriam. Um, welcome back to my channel. I hope that y'all doing amazing. Please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful and if you want to see more. And let's get into it. So today we're talking about some tourist traps that you don't want to fall into when you visit Rome. So I've been living in Rome since like two and a half, like three years almost. And I definitely trapped into some tourist traps myself. So I don't want you to do the same. Okay, so the first thing are people who are going to try to sell you those like bracelets and they're going to say it's for free. It's not for free <laughs> and don't ever make the mistake by putting them on because when you actually put those bracelets on the people who sell them are gonna make you buy it and yeah like i saw people buying them for like five year or something because they just wouldn't let them leave unless they bought it so that's something that you don't want to do in general also like there's a lot of people who a lot of people who are going to try to sell you stuff in rome so just be aware that it's obviously never for free and they always want something in return so just to be reminded of that <laughs> the second thing are the buses honestly because the buses are so complicated and it took me one year to figure out how i can actually pay in the buses like without always going to a um how do they call them like like without without always going to a tabaki store because the tabaki stores um are like the stores where you usually buy the bus ticket and then you can like verify it like in the bus um you don't actually have to do that because in the buses there are also now machines or i don't know maybe they've been here for some time but i discovered it now that allow you to just pay by credit card so i think that they only take credit card at least it only works with my credit card but um that's it like you don't have to buy tickets anymore like in the tabaki stores you can just like talk your card there and then it's super easy like but keep in mind that there are two like there are two machines in the bus one in the back usually is for the tickets that you have to like talk them in and then like one usually at the front is where you put your card so it's a bit tricky but but yeah <laughs> Next mistake is to trust the buses <laughs> or like even the metro at this point because in Rome there are a lot of strikes um, at least like one year ago from now it was like even crazier there were like two strikes every week so if you want to go to Rome and you really just want to have a stress free time just go to like maybe spend a little bit more money on the place maybe you want to just like stay in an area that's a little bit like closer to the center where you don't always have to take the bus because that's gonna ruin your stay honestly like if you stay in an area that's like very far and you constantly like have to take the bus it's gonna be not fun because the bus is like are just so unreliable and then they're not gonna come then you're like stressed and then you have to take an uber or a free now actually which is my next tip to take free now instead of uber <laughs> Um, but yeah, just make sure to like maybe spend a little bit more and staying in a nice place in the city um, Or close to Termini because close to Termini there are also a lot of buses that like There's a high chance that like one of them will come and like actually go to the center <laughs> But yeah, just keep that in mind that the buses don't really work in Rome The next thing is really more about the prices because Rome is not expensive and if you find yourself paying more than like six euro for an aperol spritz aperol spritz aperol, aperol spritz um i'm at least trying with my italian <laughs> then you're getting scammed or you're sitting right in front of the tv fountain but yeah like i just um i just don't want you to pay so much more in rome because you can literally like have such a cheap stay there and i'm gonna make separate videos about all of my favorite cafes restaurants bars clubs everything i'm gonna like there's gonna be coming so much more but for now i just want you to know that if you pay more than like six seven euro for an apple but it's that's not the place like that's a very touristic place um also the streets like close to the pantheon like between like trevi and the pantheon like there's like one street which is like very touristy and 
it looks pretty Italian. Like I feel like they look like very st stereotypically, stereotypically. <laughs> I can't say this word, Italian, but like they're just really not. If you want to have like the really like Roman experience, let's say, you really want to make sure to go into like the side streets a little bit. Like, don't like go into the main street where all of the tourists are because like those restaurants are obviously not very authentic. Um, at least usually because there's one street that is really good and actually has my favorite restaurants as well which is via del governo vecchio and it's like right next to um to piazza navona and like kind of on the way to the ponte san angelo so the angels bridge i don't know how to translate it <laughs> but yeah um, and also the same goes for coffee in Rome, I never spend more than like one euro fifty for a cappuccino. And if you feel like you're gonna spend like three euro or four euro for a cappuccino, that is definitely a scam <laughs> because coffee in Italy is just not that expensive. Yeah, just don't pay more, <laughs> please. Like, I'm gonna show you all the best cafes and I'm gonna make a separate video about it, but yeah just don't make the mistake of paying so much especially if you're like a student who wants to save money just like go to the cafes i'm gonna recommend and, and yeah so my next step if you really do have to take an uber or like a taxi or something don't take uber because uber is very expensive in rome and i think like in europe in general or maybe it's just italy i don't know but um instead you want to take a free now i'm gonna put it here <laughs> um and it's so much cheaper and it's also like it's usually very reliable so like it's very safe as well and yeah you want to do that next thing is to not pay for water like don't buy water in the supermarket because the little fountains you're gonna see everywhere you can drink out of them like just buy one bottle of water and just fill it up because that's the same they do in every restaurant like that's why the water is so cheap in a restaurant because they just take the water from the fountains so you can just do the same <laughs> And last but not least, please make your reservations in advance if you want to go to Galleria Borghese, which I highly recommend you do because it's beautiful, or um, the Vatican Museums, or anything that's like very, you know, like touristic, but like something that you just should see when you're in Rome. Um, make your reservations in advance. Like it took me two months to get a ticket for Villa Borghe uh, for Galleria Borghese, even though I live here. Like I, I could go there like every day, but it took me like still two months to get a reservation. So and for the Vatican Museums as well, like make sure to book your tickets at least like three months in advance to be sure, because it would be a pity if you come to Rome and you didn't see it. So, so yeah. Those are all of my tips for now, guys. If you want to hear more, then please let me know. Or if you have any specific questions, put them down in the comments so I can answer them. I answer to every comment. And and yeah, I'm excited to see you soon. And I really want to introduce you to new night, like nice places in Rome. I can also make a video about like how to spend the perfect day in Rome, in my opinion, if you want that. So yeah, let me know what you want to hear. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.